Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying a specially selected milk white and dark chocolate collection. Uh, this was $5.49 at Aldi. Specially selected is an Aldi brand. I have, uh, there was tape on two sides of the box. I have gone ahead and cut it open just so I could take a picture before we get started so that you would have a picture at the end of the video. Sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, I just, okay. <coughs> you know, sometimes you breathe in. You just breathe it. Just, just breathe it in. Just breathing makes you cough. Okay, so it says delicious collection of milk white and dark chocolates. We have a super milk crunchy praline, tangy cherry flavor, speculoos, fudge sundae, eaten mess, salted caramel cheesecake, almond duo, and a maple flavor and pecan. Uh, they do have another of these collections, the specially selected collections. It's a winter collection. It also has the maple flavor and pecan in that, so you might have chosen that one to try. Four and a half servings are in the container, three pieces, 36 grams or 200 calories. So we are going to try these We're just super. Work our way down the. We are. I'm going to go straight down the list. Normally, I would pick and choose like what I think's the the least strongest to the strongest. I'm not. I'm just going to go straight down the line here. So super milk crunchy praline. Lashings, you can tell this is from another country because they use the word lashings. We don't ever use that here. Um, the product of Ireland, um, and these are both any, either one of the boxes are a product of Ireland. Uh, lashings of dark and milk chocolate, muddled, we don't use that either very much, muddled with roasted hazelnut praline and salt, hand finished with a flourish of caramelized hazelnut pieces. I feel like I'm reading Harry Potter. A flourish. <laughs> That's all those marketing words. They mm -hmm. picked all these little words. Honestly, you know all I get was chocolate. Our marketing words are different than their marketing mm -hmm. words. Over here they say smothered, mm -hmm. which I hate. We're decadent. Hate the word smothered. It's good. That that is good. All it really tastes like to me is chocolate though. Mm -hmm. It's like a really good chocolate. Just chocolate. Like a semi-dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's good. It's but literally I don't get, just chocolate. I don't get, like, they said hazelnut and all this other stuff. I, don't, no. I didn't get any of that stuff. <laughs> salt. They specifically said salt. I don't get salt either. It's just, no. Just, it's just, uh, it literally like tastes like... Like a semi-sweet like, chocolate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you buy semi-sweet chocolate chips, that's what it tastes yeah. like. Yeah. yeah. It's good, good texture to it. I like it. It's, it's Yeah, It's there's a little bit of creaminess there. Mm. Uh, it's smooth. Yeah, I, don't, I don't dislike it. I that. like the way it melted, but yeah, it's just chocolate. And so this is tangy cherry flavor. I'm very excited about this one. Zingy <laughs> and fruity cherry flavored chocolate truffle. Lavishly cloaked. We are in Harry Potter. I'm telling you we're at Hogwarts. They're lavishly cloaked with dark chocolate. Oh. Hilarious. Oh, you are. Uh, but I'm trying to stick with decoration. I'm telling you, I'm not making fun though, because I could do the same thing with a lot of American uh, words, and I just don't. Hmm. Hmm. It's basically a chocolate covered cherry. A chocolate covered cherry. That one's a little tartar. It's got a little more mm. tart flavor to it. It's, it's like a chocolate covered cherry without all the juice, that the liquid. goo. Yeah. yeah, the the sweet goo. That was good. I like that mm -hmm. one. That's the, really nice. The first two, we only got one of each. Mm -hmm. I think everything else we got two of. Oh, well, that cherries are nice. Cherries really I think really if you like chocolate covered cherries at all, you'll like that. And it has a crisper coating of the chocolate on the outside. Mm -hmm. It's nice. really nice. Um, so this is the lighter colored one on the top. The top one. Okay, speculoes. Crispy, gently spiced biscuit pieces wrapped in smooth speculoes and milk chocolate finished with a white chocolate pre-blob. <laughs> I've never read that before on anything in my life. A pre-blob. Well, that is fun. Mm. I like that flavor. Mm-hmm. How many good of those? Two. Mmm. It's a good thing. And the um, the texture, you get the little crunchy pieces in there. Mm. It's almost like sugar crystals, but um, mm -hmm. they're set biscuit pieces. So. They could sell a whole box of just those. Those are very good. Because very good spice. just eating half of it like that, it's like... 
Okay, you just want more? Yeah. It's very, very creamy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's very nice. And it has uh, cinnamon, mm -hmm. but it's um, it's a delicate cinnamon. It's not harsh or heavy. Yeah. It's it's, it's creamy and sweet. It's nice. It's a really mm -hmm. nice flavor, and it's well balanced with the chocolate. The chocolate's really good, too. So this is a fudge sundae. Milk chocolate ganache laced with gooey salted caramel, creating a delicious fudge sundae. Now your little decoration might fall off, so. Okay. The decorations tend to just fall off the top. It took a minute, but I'm finally getting the white chocolate kind of flavor. It takes a long minute. Mm hmm But it's worth it. Yeah, it's super, super sweet. The white chocolate's actually really nice. Mm-hmm. I like that. I like the speculoos a lot. I like that more than the speculoos mm -hmm. because it's sweeter. But it just, to me, it I'm just getting white chocolate, and it just tastes like white chocolate, sweet white chocolate. What's funny is that when, I, when you first start chewing it, you're kind of getting just chocolate. Yes. And then the white and chocolate like into, starts yes. coming out. No, I completely agree yeah. with you. It's, so you don't get the white chocolate till later, mm -hmm. but you'll be glad of that because that's what's left in your mouth and you want that sweetness. Yeah. You want Sweet to end on very, that very note. Good. So that's nice. Yeah, okay. that's really, really nice. Um, this is Eaten Mess. We've made it Eaten Mess. We have. It was fabulous. It was very, fabulous. very good. Uh, heavenly chocolate mousse studded with raspberry and crispy meringue pieces. I, our eating mess was, we used strawberries though, didn't we? I can't remember. It was strawberry. I, I don't remember on this one. It's been a while. And it was out of a London cookbook. Mm -hmm. It was very good though. I'm almost positive it was strawberry. Mm. I love that. Mm -hmm. That's a really nice flavor too. That raspberry mm -hmm. is delicious. It is. It's nice and sweet, but it's got a burst of like a little tartness to it. It has too. a, yeah, a little bit of zinginess to mm -hmm. it. Um, a little zing, but it, uh, it's sweet too. Really, really mm -hmm. nice burst of flavor. There are seeds though. That's terrific. I really love that flavor. Uh, the next one is salted caramel cheesecake. I got a seed stuck in my teeth. I mm. that. I didn't get any seed. Uh, but I'm still tasting that uh, that chocolate and the, the white chocolate and the raspberry. It's so nice. Okay. Salted caramel cheesecake, crunchy biscuit, and caramel flavored milk chocolate brittle with a hint of sea salt. Mmm. Mm. I like that one too. That one reminds me of the, what is it, the crunchy bar or something like that. The whipped up kind of airy. With the honeycomb. Honeycomb. I was trying to think of the world. It's that's a crunchy that, bar. Yeah. That tastes like honeycomb to me. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. Mm. It's very good. You know what? There hasn't been one of these that we have not liked. No? No, I've liked pretty much all, every one of them. This is this is an awesome box. Mm -hmm. um, that salted caramel, you, you it's a very, very sweet caramel. Yeah, I don't get salt, but I do get... Um, no, but you do get more of a... It's a sweet caramel, but it's kind of cooked as well. That's why I said it kind of reminded me of honeycomb. Yeah, a bit. and and yeah, and you do get like crunchy, crunchy pieces, pieces in there. That was yeah, that was phenomenal. excellent. And I'm glad you get two of those. Yeah. Okay. Almond Duo, blonde chocolate with hints of caramel, layered with rich dark chocolate, paired with pieces of caramelized crispy almonds. First flavor I got was almond. Like the nut, not that cherry flavor. A very nice almondy chocolate. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. a nutty chocolate. Yes. And it is like the first one we tried. It tasted just like just plain chocolate, which was really nice. But this one, you you really do get the almond with mm -hmm. it, and it's a combination of the two. It's very nice, very sweet. It um, 
It's firm though. There's no uh, softness to mm -hmm. this one. There's no. Uh, it's like the first one. It's just like a block of chocolate. Yeah. Yeah, but it but it is nice. Mm -hmm. The last one. And we only get one of these. It's the maple flavor and pecan caramelized pecan pieces, rich roasted pecan paste, and rich maple flavor blended with super smooth milk chocolate. I get a little bit of that maple flavor. No, it's good. That's probably my least favorite out of the box, honestly, but it's good. Mm. I like it that there's crunchy bits in it. Mm -hmm. Like a little sugar crystal. There, yeah, there's crunchy bits. Um, I do like the maple. Mm -hmm. um, I do get salt from that one, too, a little bit. I get salt. Yeah, you get salt, you get maple, you get crunchy pieces. You, there's a lot going on yeah. in that one piece of candy. Yeah, I think there, out of all of them, that's probably my least favorite. But it I, is mine, too. But I still like it. But I still like it. Yeah. Um, this box is better than the winter one. Yes. If, if you have a choice between the winter collection, although if you're adventurous, I would get both of them because I think it would be good for you mm. to be able to taste all the different. There's some good flavors in the other one too. Yeah. But, just didn't like as but if you only have the money, if you only, they're five forty nine. if you only have the money to buy one, this is the one to buy. Yeah. Um, especially this is more I think this one would appeal more to American taste yeah. buds because um, you do get one that's like chocolate covered cherry and you're getting the caramel and I, I, this would probably appeal more to you but I do think this has more um, just really good every single one of them's a hit yeah. um, what I like about these is not only do they give you a key on the back uh, a cheat sheet basically but they give you a description and I think it's all fine and good to get fancy chocolate mm -hmm. from a fancy factory but they usually don't tell you anything usually they don't even have I mean you're lucky if you open up the box and there's a key on there to tell you what's what but you don't ever get a description like that I love that I love having a description of uh, a picture of what it is and the name and the flavors. I love that. I think that's awesome. Yeah, you buy a regular box of chocolate and half the You don't get anything. Half of them, you don't know what you're yeah, getting. Yeah, you don't know that's what you're That's why you end up people biting them and breaking them in and half. And breaking and them in half and stuff like that. It's because it's like you don't know what. If I owned a chocolate company, I would tell you. I would have a picture like this. I would tell you the name and I would tell you what was in it because I think people would really, really appreciate that. So, um, if you have, have not bought any of these chocolates from Aldi, I, I would try to f see if you can go in there and see if they still have them. You never know. Um, one of them was called Winter Collection. I don't know how long they'll be out, but I'm hoping that you'll be able to get a couple boxes. So, I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.